Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 3 with me, Notorious BLT. Uh, you'll probably notice that my stats, or at least my, my health and whatnot, are very different from last time, and that's because of a couple things. Uh, one, I did a lot of co-op. <laughs> I did a lot of co-op because I wanted to get all the miracles that I could get for the Sunlight Covenant. Um, so there's that. I leveled a bunch. The leveling was mostly in Vigor. Uh, uh, vigor, Attunement, and Endurance. And I put one point in Vitality and one point in Dex. Um, and the reason that I'm upping my Dex is that I want to be able to use a Target Shield. Uh, and I want to be able to use the Target Shield for a couple of reasons. Now let's see. Uh -huh. I want to see... There's also a couple things we gotta we gotta give to people. Alright, she does not hate us for killing Yuria. That's something that I wanted to check on. And let's see. Was it, it's not that that we want to look at. There's a piece of armor that we wanted to look at. I thought she was going to sell us Wolnir's crown, but I guess not. Huh. Well, I'll be darned. All right. Uh, well, let's give her the Umber Rash that we've got. Sansa's Ashes. Yeah, we've heard that quite a few times. All right. So now what do you have? Is that Wolnir's crown? Yes. Okay. This is one of the things that I wanted to read. Crown of Wolnir, the Karthus Conqueror. Once upon a time, such things were bequeathed judiciously to each of their righteous lords, until Wolnir uh, brought them to their knees and ground their crowns to dust. Then the crowns became one, and Wolnir, the one high lord. I think this is an allusion to, not allusion like, you know, illusor, illusionary, illusionary. Uh, like they are alluding to the, uh, Dark Souls 2 with that. I think that that's what that's all about. Uh, actually, I kind of want to see if I can sell some stuff to her. Like these souls. I want to know how much that'll give us. Probably not enough to... No, that's not going to give us... Well, no, that might give us enough to level. Yeah. Let's do this. So we've got 15,000. Let's do like three. Okay, let's do one more. Oops. Okay. Ashen one. Apparently that's a slightly faster way to get your souls Welcome from using... Souls. Very uh, taken. Now let's level our decks one more point. Okay. And now. Farewell, let's go talk to Andre. What's up, buddy? What's up, pal? Ah, we need to reinf uh, not reinforce, we need to infuse. And it needs to be a shield, it needs to be this shield. Two. Uh, where is simple? Hollow, poison, blood, dark, deep. Blast, fire. It was simple, man. I thought I had a simple. Do I not have a simple? Hey! I could swear I had a simple gem. Do I not? Am I crazy? Are you for real? Wait a minute. Refi okay, heavy, sharp, refined, raw, crystal. Fire, blast, deep, dark, blood, poison, hollow. I swear. I swear. I had, I swear I had a simple gem. I swear I did. Hey. Wait a minute. Do I not? Am I insane? I do. Oh, I pro, wait, do I have a coal that I can give you? I don't have a coal. Damn it. I also don't have a shard. Uh, okay, so it's, it's a coal that I still need to get. All right. I think I know which coal that's going to be. Now you, we have scrolls for you, pal. Back again, I suppose. Indeed. Oh my. You've made quite the discovery. This is a scroll of the prodigious Big Hat Logan. A masterful sorcerer, long missed in Minheim. And now we have a scroll. Right here in my very hands. Excellent. Come again. All right. Uh, and I don't remember if there was anything else we needed to buy from you. I also did go back to the Cathedral of the Deep to get the, uh, the Deep Braille Divine Tome. Uh, no, we don't want to give you any of those, but we do want to learn miracles. Are there any other ones that I want? No, we have these. I guess we might as well just buy them, though. Get them out of her inventory. Yeah. Have a pleasant jet, I pray for you. Alright. Let's also go and attune some different spells. Oh, there was one other thing that I wanted to potentially change, and I don't know which one I want to change. Let's see exactly how many attunement slots we have. Because I may be able to get rid of that other attunement ring. Yeah, we can definitely get rid of that attunement ring. There's one thing that I want to do. I want to... 
Oh, I don't have it yet. I thought I already had the lightning clutch ring. Well, poo. <sighs> well, pecker indeed. Uh, then what else do I want to wear? I don't know. Hmm. I guess we'll wear Morton's ring. Make our miracles even better? Why not? That sounds good. Uh, and then for our spell attunements. Because one of the reasons I wanted to wear the lightning clutch ring is so that my lightning spells could be super awesome. But if that's not going to be the case, then that's not going to be the case. Uh, great heal or replenishment? Or caressing tears? Let's do caressing tears. Yeah. Yeah, let's do caressing tears. That sounds that sounds just fine. Now let's get ourselves back to the the horrible place, the profane capital. Because we still have some keys to find. I think I know where they are. I think I just missed out on my opportunity to get them. <clears throat> and as I said before, we're not actually going to let Sigurd out of his cell just yet. Because I do want to go get Storm Ruler before we let him out of his cell. For what I believe to be a very good reason. Uh, this is not the way I want to go, but does this get us goodies? Oh no, okay, yeah. We want to go down there eventually because there's a thing that we can drop down to grab. But let's go this way. And one reason that I want to use the... Um, Oh, what in the hell am I trying to say here? One reason that I want to use the target shield is because... I, what my, my plan is basically to infuse it with the simple infusion. Because I want to have FP regen. Hello. Hello to you too. Uh, wait a minute. Did I... Do I need this? I guess we don't really need the shield. I suppose I could put my mace on. Yeah, we could put the mace on to help us destroy the gargoyles. Maybe not. I don't know. And also, one other thing that I'm going to do is... Uh, oh, no, no. I want to infuse one of my weapons with lightning. And I think what I might do is buy a longsword or, like, some other... Some uh, some hammer weapon and infuse that with lightning. Because I want to have a weapon that actually scales with my faith. All right. Let's get Caressing Tears ready. Actually, let's do the lightning buff first. Get Crescent Cures ready. Goddamn toxic garbage swamp. Let's get up here. Okay, we didn't actually need Crescent Cures, which is fine by me. Totally fine by me. You know, let's, uh, let's do a little bit of this. Let's get some of that regen going. So I don't really plan on ditching this sword anytime soon. We've already gotten everything that was in there. And it's up here that we could jump across. I know, it's, is it there? It's, where is it? It's right there that we could jump across to get inside, right? Yes. Which, God, do I hope I make that jump easily <laughs> rather than screwing it up over and over again. Uh, it is up here that I'm looking to be, right? Yes, because this is where the two invisible jerk bags are. I believe this is also where the key is. And then we can drop down and we will see Zigward. And I think we can talk to him. Yep, Jailer's key ring. I'm pretty sure that's the one. Let's see. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, ring of the keys of the Irithil dungeon held by the Jailer. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Uh, opens most cell doors. On what grounds do they remain imprisoned, considering that by now they are mindless hollows or unrealized gibbering fools? Hmm. question is, do I really want to go down? Well, I don't know if we actually have to talk to Sigurd. We probably do. It's probably a good idea to talk to him. Oh, hell. Oh, oh god. I thought I was going to do a rolling attack, but I didn't. Ooh, still an unknown traveler. Sigurd. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. Oh, look at me. Trapped oh, hell! But you needn't worry. I've just been sitting here wearing my option. I just need a bit more time. Jesus. Frickin' rats. 
Jerk bags. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. Did I actually have... I have a... Oh, God. I had a bone shard. My liberation requires a key. God damn it! The key is outside. <sighs> oh, fucking hell. Little for the ages. <sighs> My liberation... Okay. God forsaken rats. <laughs> Jesus! Holy shit! Fuck! Christ! Get me out of here. Rat funnel. Rat funnel. Come at me! Ugh. Ugh. Scumbag rats. Holy hell. Alright. Let's go back. Uh, this is what we want to do, right? I think so. Last modifier rest of that. Right, right. So I, I think what we need to do the simple infusion is the... Uh, what am I trying to think of here? The, the profane coal. Wait, we didn't already get that, did we? No, of course not. No, of course not. Uh, Alright, so we want to come back here so that we can go... Oh, God. This is the problem with dropping down to talk to Z-Word. Oh, my God. What the hell am I doing? This is not where I want to be. Uh, use your brain, stupid. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself, is what's going on. I'm getting way too far ahead of myself. Okay, we need to, before we let Z-Word out, we need to go into Yorm's boss room so that we can get the Storm Ruler. I'm going to do that. Then I think we're, what the, the next we're going to do is let Carla out. Does this actually go anywhere? No, it does not. Uh, let's... If I put on my mace, am I going to be fat rolling? Yes. Crap. What if I got rid of this? What does it weigh? Five? How much does the mace weigh? Hopefully less. <laughs> Hopefully less. Five. Okay, that's fine. I don't really need the shield at the moment anyway. Oh my god, shut up, you stupid police! Not that the police are stupid. This one particular thing that's going on is foolish, and I hate it. Let's grab this. I know there's going to be a gargoyle that comes up and tries to ruin my life! Ah, frick! Let me out of here. Okay. Now... You and I need to talk. Oh, hell! Mm, get so ruined. Oh. Alright. Hammers? Really nice against those gargoyles, I gotta say. Okay. Now, here's the other question. Do we want to mess with these women first. I kind of say why not. I don't know if hammers are going to be a good choice. Seems maybe not. Ow. Oh god, the gargoyle. Hell on earth. How about no? How about no? Jesus! Okay! Okay. Drink the flask. God, man. This, oh! This is one of the parts in the game that... Uh, I don't hate it, but man, it, it's, it's frustrating to me. I totally fucking missed him. God damn it. Damn it. Woo! Ah, crap. Get wrecked. <sighs> Maybe I should have put heal on. Damn. Alright, now give me whatever... I, I think these people drop, what is it, gold coins? No, rusted coins. Uh, I thought they could drop gold coins, though. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh man. Something I realized the other day. One of my favorite characters in Game of Thrones, for those of you who watch Game of Thrones or read the books, uh, which is uh, Song of Ice and Fire. Oh, God, I need to heal. Um, is uh, Sir Davos, the, the Onion Knight, which I thought was kind of appropriate given that Zygward and Zygmire are probably two of my favorite characters in this game. <laughs> and that they're both, you know, the Onion Knights. Ah! Damn flamethrower face. Ah. I forget, is there anything useful over here? I don't think so. And do one of you come to life? I don't remember. I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. Don't come to life and, and hurt me. I would be very upset about that. Is this where I get the profane coal? Where do I get the profane coal? Did I already give the profane coal? God, I can't remember. Oh, no, no. Oh, maybe to do the simple one, I need the coal from the giant? Hmm. I don't really remember. Shoot. Well, my one thing I want is to get the simple uh, infusion. Not enchantment. Infusion. Infusion is what I mean. Which I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I already said that to you guys. Anyway, let's uh, continue here. I Should I go this way first? It means I'd have to deal with one of the gargoyles. It does mean I'd have to deal with a gargoyle. Although, do, uh, do I have the crossbow on me? I don't. Come on out. Come on out, gargoyle. I see you. You know what? Forget him. Forget him. Let's just go in, let's get the Storm Ruler, and let's and let's leave. Get the heck out of here. Okay, good. Homer Bones are on the bar. What's up, dude? You're on the giant. What's up, man? You gonna... Yep. Hell. Nope, no, no. Uh, sure, fine. That's fine. Get me out of here. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whew. Okay. Okay. All right, now, let's go free Mr. Zegward from the Wayne capital. Then I think we're going to go back into the Earthfield dungeon, get uh, Carla to come out, give her some tomes, and then I think we're going to try to take on Yorm. I think that's what we're going to do. I mean, I'm also going to try to do the rest of this godforsaken place first. Like, I mean, there's still a whole bunch of those crazy women that we got to kill in the gargoyles, and I know there's mimics and stuff. I think there's actually two mimics that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, is this the way I want to go? I think this is the way that I want to go. Right? Yes. Go, 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 run past the gargoyle, because they're jerks, and we hate them. Now, I'm finding myself to be slightly confused about a couple things. Um, mostly being with how the magic thing works. I thought that the magic adjustment stat was the thing that you wanted to look at to see how... Uh, how much your... Well, actually, let's take a look at it. Uh, let's see. Is it... No. God damn it. Spell buff, I think, is what I'm looking at, right? Degree to which spells are strengthened. Spells take the form of sorceries, pyromancies, miracles. Degree to power or effect... Hmm. Degree to which power or effect is boosted by strength. I guess I just don't really... Degree to which spells are strengthened. Hmm. I thought that that, that spell buff was what determined how strong your, uh, your spells were going to be, but... On the wiki, it says that there's, I think it's a, there's a catalyst that's got like a 60, uh, a spell buff of 60, and it says that that one is the best for faith above, what was it, uh, faith above like 50, I want to say? And all I could think was that, you know, the scaling that it says is, it has an S scaling for faith, but I was like, wait a minute, I thought that was only like if you punch people with it, which is not what we would really be looking to do. Is this, uh, yeah, this is where we want to go, because now we want to free our onion bro. Please don't fuck up the jump. Please don't fuck up the jump. Please let me make it. Yes! Thank God. Wait, is there a thing in here? No. Okay. For some reason, I thought there was loot in here. 
Uh, no loot in here? No. Sigward! Yes! Oh, hell! That was some weird camera crazies. Covetous gold serpent ring. Hells yeah. Ah, oh, you are a saint. Once again, you are my valiant savior. I, Siegfried of Katarina, express my deepest gratitude. Take this. A token of my thanks. Go on. It's all yours. Fuck yeah. Ah, no, please. Go on ahead. I've my own road to take. And a duty to fulfill. Very soon. Yep. Ah, no, I've... And... Uh, Alright, let's read that ring that we just... Oh no, the ring that we just got. Fallen foes are more likely to drop items. A gold ring depicting a snake that could have been, but never was, a dragon. Fallen foes are more likely to drop items. Snakes are known as creatures of great avarice, devouring prey even larger than themselves by swallowing them whole. If one's shekels are cause for discontent, perhaps it is time for some old-fashioned greed. Okay, so a gold ring depicting a snake that could have been, but never was, a dragon. Which still makes me think of these, uh, these Puss of Man things, which, by the way... I had a thought about that, about the, the, I don't know, is, is the plural of pus pusses? I don't know. <laughs> about those pus of man thingies. Um, do we want to homeward? That's probably the best idea. Let's just homeward. Back to the last monster I rested at. Um, and it needs, it needs some investigation. It, my, my idea needs some investigation, but I'll, I'll talk about the, the gist of it right now. The gist of it is that... All right, we wanted to go talk to Carla. The gist of it is that I'm wondering if those things only show up near dragons. And I'm wondering if they have more associated with dragons than we're really seeing. Like, what if they come out of the... Well, I shouldn't say dragons, but what if they come out of the drakes that we see, like, in Lothric? And I'm wondering, because there's three of them in... The High Wall of Lothric. And I don't remember how many drakes we see that are dead and alive. But I get this feeling that just maybe... There wasn't a bonfire down here, was it? No, there was not. I'm going to go in here and hopefully that gargoyle will not follow me. You're following me. Shit. Well, crap. Ah. Damn. Jesus. Let me back off for a second here. I hate these enemies so much. Thank you. Thank you. Get out of here. Ooh, the Gargoyle Flame Spear. I, does that scale with our faith? I don't think it does. But let's take a look. Oh, it totally does have a, uh, have faith scaling. Okay. Uh, let's see. Stone Torch Spear wielded by Gargoyles with Profane Capital. Profane Flame, which never goes out, imbues this weapon with a fire attack. All right. Uh, so anyhow, um, what I was trying to get at is that I'm, I'm thinking that maybe there's some link. Like maybe th when those, oh hell, maybe when those drakes were killed, they, how can I put this? When they were killed, the pus of man that was within them tried to infect something else. And that something else was the hollows that are around. All right, let's get some regen going on as well. Good lord. That loud ass shit. It's outside right now. I hate it. Shit, 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 shit. Jesus! Causing me... You are the cause of much pain. And I hate you. Get the hell out of here.
Okay. Oh, shit. I just want to get the health back up, because in case one of them whacks me with that stupid brand. Get out of here. It's probably one of my least favorite parts of the game. <laughs> I hate these ladies so much. Don't see me. Nobody else sees me? Alright, good. No, no! No hitting! Okay. Now, uh, Carla, where are you at? You're over this way? I think I have the key that can open her cell. We also have a couple of other places to go in here because there's, uh, there's a, ah, God, I forgot about you. There's, um, shit. There's some items that we still need to grab. I hate you. Get out of here. They were locked up in some cells that we couldn't access previously. Which I don't really want to go through this place again. What's up, Carla? Oh, there you are. I thought you'd all but forgotten me. How sweet. Good to know that a skinny little heretic can still turn heads. Hmm? Oh, you're not one of them, are you? Accept my apologies for mistaking you for one of those leeches. So... What business have you here? This is a land of monstrosities. And I am no exception. You're here to save me. But I'm guilty. A wretched child of the abyss. Is that something you can forgive? Oh, really? You are no ordinary man. Very well. Besides, I've grown tired of imprisonment. I am Carla, and I accept your proposal. Sweet! Alright. Oh, well, uh, there's still more crap we gotta do in here, but it's probably better left going through on my own later. Yeah, it, it's, it's gonna be better to go through on my own later, instead of making you guys sit here and watch me go through the whole place again. It's also interesting that she says that she's a child of the Abyss, and I don't know if she's just trying to say, well, I'm a human, or if she's trying to say that she's actually a fragment of Manus. Ah, oh, as I said, now, the only thing that might interest you is my... Although my dark arts are a detestable sort, that wouldn't interest you. Oh no, it would. Oh no, it would. You're a wicked one, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Very well. Humans are of the dark, and you are no different. Damn right. Some may avert their eyes, but the truth remains the truth. Be careful, though. Few humans are privy to this knowledge. Let it be a secret, kept between you and I. Oh. A pyromancy tone, have we? And one that resonates with the dark. Yes, well suited to me. <laughs> Very well, if this is your wish. I will unravel the thing the best I can. Besides, it will be nice to play master for once. So that tells me she's never actually had a pupil before. Which, as we've seen with a lot of other things, or well, not with a lot of other things, but in um, like in Dark Souls 1 and, and this, uh, and Dark Souls 3, the master-pupil relationship is very important in Pyromancy, apparently. Let's give you that. Oh, is this a divine tone? What on earth are you thinking? I wouldn't go near a divine tone, or any so-called miracle. And casters of miracles are sure to steer clear of me. So please, 
Don't torture me so. Oh shit. What? Ah, oh, you. How could you? Oh. I know. I know. I owe my life to you. Fine then. But just this once, I will tell you this tale. But do understand, it will be my first time. I'll have no sniggering should I err. Ah, oh, you. Ah, oh, I know. Fine then. I'll have no snigger. Oh boy. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, okay, so these are the pyromancy. What is this? Dark blade. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, is this deep protection? It is. Actually, we should look at the descriptions too. The third daughter, Lillianne, uh, one of the founders of the Sable Church, is said to be or to recount tales that portray the suffering and conflict of Hollows. Uh, let's see. Pyromancy discovered by Grave Wardens after High Lord Wolnir fell to the Abyss. Rolls a black fireball. The black flame inflicts dark damage, uh, striking targets with weighty force. And black flames born of the Abyss bear no shadow. They are instead to be the impenetrable fires of humanity. Hmm. Dark Edge. Passed from mother to daughter, this blade was intended for both protection and as a means of taking one's own life. The young girl never swung it more than once. So, let's see. It was intended for protection and as a means of taking one's own life. So she must have swung it once in protection. Maybe she killed her mother? I don't know. It appears to be an expression of envy or perhaps love towards another that will tenaciously pursue its target. Even if, like so many human desires, it amounts to nothing but misfortune. What's this? Bow of Silence. Uh, wait a minute. This was originally from Ulysil, wasn't it? I think it was. I think this was originally from Ulysil in Dark Souls 1. Members of the Sable Church are all trained swordsmen, each sworn only through their weapons as they bear the leaden silence of Londor. Hmm. Dead again. Londor, the, realm, uh, the Hollow Realm, is a society of undead comprised of the corpses and shades of those who led unsavory lives. Is such blessing really something one must ponder? Hmm. Such blessing. So, maybe what they're saying is this can allow you to, like, kill a Hollow? Maybe permanently? I, I don't know. But, you know, if such a blessing... Er, is such blessing really something one must ponder? And, you know, with the pilgrims all wishing for death, maybe this is related to that? I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. And this is... These two are from the Deep, I'm guessing. Uh, let's see. Inaugurated beacon, uh, beacons... Deacons of the Cathedral of the Deep. Slightly boost attack, damage absorption, and resistance. Damn. While also increasing, increasing stamina recovery. The Deep was originally a peaceful and sacred place, but became the final rest for many aberrant things. This tale of the Deep offers protection for those who worship amidst those horrors. These insects which lurk in the deep have tiny jaws lined with fangs to tear open the skin and burrow into the flesh in the blink of an eye, causing intense bleeding. I'm starting to think that the deep... And this this probably sounds obvious, but uh, obviously the deep... You stay safe. Actually, I think we want to talk to her in a second. But I think the deep is something very different from the abyss. And I don't think that really needs to be said. I think most people are going to pick up on that. But I'm thinking that... The Deep is like the wild forms of humanity, like we saw in the DLC for Dark Souls 1. If you look at some of those creatures, they look like they belong like into the deep ocean, or just, you know, they look like Cthulian horrors, that kind of thing. Ah, hello again. Yes. There is one thing that you... There is a darkness within man, and I'm afraid you will peer into it. Too late. Whether the fear will spark self-reflection or a ruinous nostalgia is up to you entirely. Fear not. Your choice will bring you no scorn. There is one... Okay, I thought she might say something different because we you gave her the dark safe. stuff. I thought she might have said something different. That's okay. That's okay. 
All right, I think we want to use this deep protection. I don't know if it's actually going to boost our damage as much as I think it is. I hope it does. <laughs> kind of hope it does. Uh, let's see, attune spells. I don't think I'm going to need crescent cures anymore. Let's do... Is that deep? No, this is deep protection. All right, deep protection. Lightning bolt isn't helping me as much as I had hoped. So, I don't know, it's dark blade good? Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Oh, we gotta burn that bone shard, don't we? Yes, we do. Indeed. Alright, I think uh, now is the time to go take on Yorm, then. Holy crap. Let's go do it. Which means that we also need to have, uh, well, you know what? This can stay on there. But we also need to have the Storm Ruler on our bar. Where is the Storm Ruler? There it is. How much do you weigh? Eight. That's going to put us way over. Um, so maybe we just replace one of these? I don't know. Or we could probably just run past all of our enemies. Yeah, we'll probably just run past everything. Let's do that. Let's run past everybody. Now, I want to make sure that I'm getting the. Nope, that's not it. Oh no, we have to have the stance going and do that. Right. That's how you do it. Alright. Okay. Now remember, run past everything. Don't bother fighting any of these any of these creatures. Because they're all buttholes. We don't need to deal with them. But let's get this all charged up first. I don't know if the charge actually stays. Wait, have I done wrong? I did wrong. God. Oh, hell. Okay, hang on. Get rid of this, because it's going to be loud and annoying. <sighs> God damn it. Okay. I want to see if we can save Seagward. I, and actually, I think that after we do Yorm, we might go back and do the Demon Runes. Or Demon Ruins, not Runes. I think maybe we'll do the demon runes. Uh, which way do we go? Oh, okay, right. You got the fireball badness shooting at us. Is it? Ah, there it is. Gimme. Okay. Oh, that's a little far. Hell. On earth. Don't shoot. Let's go. Don't touch me. Leave me alone. Stop ourselves off real quick. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Come on, gimme. Hell. Yeah. 
Kill him! Don't kill him! No, you killed him, you son of a bitch! Damn it! Ugh, I was really hoping to save Ziggurat this time. Fuck! Son of a bitch! Your arm, god damn it! You killed him! You killed him! Ah, oh, fuck! You killed him, you jerk! Oh, damn it! God damn it! I was really hoping to save Ziegward this time. Ah, freaking hell. Well, I suppose you can't win them all. Fuck. Alright, let's read this stuff. Damn it. <laughs> I'm actually kind of pissed at myself. If the lords will not return to their thrones themselves, let them return as cinders. Lonely Yorm became a lord of cinder to put the profane flame to rest, knowing full well that those who spoke of him as lord were quite insincere. Yorm is the descendant of an ancient conqueror, but was asked by the very people once subjugated to lead them, serving as both a weighty blade and a stone-hard shield. Hmm. So, somebody else conquered the people here, and Yorm was a descendant of that person. So the people who were here... Why am I going back? Well, I, I'm going back partially to level. Um, so the people here in the Profane Capital... As some of the other lore, points, uh, lore things point out, they, they clearly did not like Yorm. Welcome, husband. Very well. Uh, or at least they, they made fun of him, you know? Like, they would... When they referred to him as Lord, they really didn't mean it. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, okay, I only have enough for one level, huh? Let's do a level of faith. Ashen one, Ashen one, Ashen one. Okay. Farewell, may the flame. Let's go. Uh, let's go talk to the little dude. I don't remember if he's going to actually give us anything different right now. We might as well talk to him. Aha, that so. Ah, most illustrious lord, fine kindling for the th and all slain by thy hand. Oh, I have no. Right. Okay. Let's see what we can get out of this. Uh, that's Chris Slage, Deacon's Deep, Straight Demon, Lord Walnir. This was, uh, no, this is uh, Pyromancy. We don't really care about that. Uh, Soul of the Dancer, though, we're probably going to use this at some point. Actually, I might as well just do it now. Yeah. I might as well just do this now. Wait. Why can I still buy it? Okay. Uh, anywho. Let's see. Alright, this is one of them. Yep, Yorm's Great Machete. Yorm once lumbered in the front lines with a great shield, but one day, in place of his shield, a left hand notch was added to his machete, enabling the smashing technique that would become the legacy of his later years. Great shield used long ago by Yorm. The giant increased the user's poise. As a lord, Yorm risked everything and fought unflinchingly as a one-man vanguard. Following the loss of the one he wished to protect, he forsook his shield. Hmm. There, this is one of the... and I, 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 I say it's a problem, but it's really not, like, a huge issue. It's more just that there's, a, there's so much lore in these games, and it's very difficult to know... what everything means, I, I guess is the way I, I would try to put it. I, I, it does, that's probably not coming across anywhere near how I actually want it to, but... Okay, can you, uh, can you open up? I'd like to see if Hawkwood is left. Because I'm pretty sure that he leaves his shield out here. Or, unless we already got it. Did we get it already, or is it up on the second tier? I don't remember. I thought it was out here that we see him, along with that godforsaken dog. Hello, dog. Get out of here. Yep, there it is. Hawkwood shield. Uh, 
Unique, uh, the unique swordsmanship of the Watchers does not normally allow for the use of shields. The unique swordsmanship of the Watchers would not allow such a shield, and Hawkwood's very possession of it was telltale of his defeat. Man, it really sucks that we didn't actually manage to save Sigurd. I know you can do it. I've seen people talk about it. I know it's possible. I just don't know how. I just don't know how. All right. I think we're going to finish up the profane capital. Then, we are going to head into the demon ruins. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Yep. <laughs> Alright, do I still have my mace on me, right? Yeah, good. Just want to make sure that I can kill the gargoyles when necessary. I wonder if dark might help us with this. Let's do... Okay, let's do a little bit of deep protection. Ooh. Okay, now what happens if I do this? Doesn't get rid of it. Okay, so that... Man, our damage must be ridiculous right now. I hope. I think it usually took like four hits to kill these guys, so that's good. Take... Oh! Taking one less hit to kill. that. Ooh, Handmaid's Dagger. I think that actually gives us FP regeneration, does it not? I think it does. I'm pretty sure that gives us FP regeneration. Right, now, I uh, I want to get one Gargoyle and kill it before the other, because otherwise we're going to have a really bad time. Here, Gargoyle. Yep, here we go. God damn it. God damn it. Alright. Oh, freaking hell. Jesus, just go away. Freaking gargoyles, man. Get out of here. Okay, we'll read that hammer. Actually, you know, let's just read the hammer now before I forget. Uh, unless we already had one. Did we already pick one up? No. Profane flame, which never goes out, imbues this weapon with a fire attack. A stone torch wielded by the gargoyles of the profane capital. Th that's another thing with this. It's difficult to really get what the profane flame is. Like, we really have no idea at all. Hello? Alright, fine. I guess I gotta mess with them first. Oh god, I think I may have screwed myself. Unless the gargoyle is not going to come any further. Hell. God damn it. Come here. You. Shit. Get out of here. <sighs> Alright. Let's drink the thing. Let's do some Dark Blade. See if that helps us at all. Now we're out of FP. Let's drink the FP. Wow, man. We got a lot of FP normally. Holy crap. So this seems to do pretty well for us too, it seems. Damn, damn. Whoops. <laughs> would help if I actually use the right thing, wouldn't it? Let's do some more deep protection. This uh this dark damage seems to be doing pretty good for us. Alright. Gotta be careful not to piss off two of them. Or both, rather. Come here. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Give me a symbol. Symbol of Avarice. Give it. Hand it over. Great shield of glory. Wait a minute. Uh, let's look at that in just a sec. Let's kill this other mimic first. 
Oh shit. Oh crap. Jesus. There we go. Okay, Great Shield of Glory. <laughs> Let's see. Great Shield adorned with flowing patterns, a celebration of an ancient glory. Boasts the highest stability of such shields, but with reduced stamina regen speed, or generation speed. Perhaps it is glory that begets in, uh, indolence. Hmm. Rusted coins. Ah! And this one, it's not a mimic. Thank God. Amber, all right. Uh, I don't think there were any other treasure chests we needed to loot here, or any... I don't think there was anything else we needed to loot in this place at all, I don't think. No, wait a minute. Did I actually get the profane coal? I'm not sure I did. I'm not sure I actually did. I thought I had, though. But there's no treasure chest in here, I don't think. Is there? Was there one back here? No? I thought there was one that was kind of sort of hidden in some darkness. Hmm, I guess not. All right, well, let's uh, let's go back. I, I'm, I think the maybe the profane coal is somewhere in the dungeon. I think that might be it. I think that might be right. So let's let's uh, let's head ourselves back to the shrine real quick. I know we've been going back to the shrine a whole hell of a lot. I'm not sure if stacking deep protection with one of these weapon buffs is actually the way to go or not. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Let's head back to the shrine. Let's uh, pump a level, uh, uh, pump another level into ourselves, and then I think we're gonna call it quits. Where you at, Firekeeper? There you are. Come here. Welcome. Very well. Then touch Haken. Let's put another level on our faith. Thank you. All right. Well, Ashley. All right, folks, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all did enjoy it. And if you did, you know what to do. That is me from your Notorious BLT. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye, folks.